This is our desk. I was trained on social thinking and zones of regulation, so you see that in the background. You see the learner's self-regulation tools, but you see that he didn't use them before the interception work. He had so many tools, so much instruction, but it wasn't clicking. It wasn't something he could access and make his own and use. Here are some of our fidget toys. Again, he had so much access, but it's no good without awareness to realize what makes you feel good and when and why you want to use them. We really love the body check ring. I like to say I'm a lazy homeschooler, but I'm not. I'm not interested in doing involved crafts and cutting tons of things. I get great intentions, but it doesn't get done. The body check ring is the communication option that could get done. It makes it super easy to use alongside the lessons. I put on the ring the cards as I taught them, so by the end he had a complete ring. We used this avidly, even taking it when we traveled, for well over a year. He's now independent and doesn't need it, but for quite a while it was a vital tool, which I highly recommend. This is a descriptor menu, and this just shows how easy it can be to use the curriculum. I slipped important pages into page protectors, and I used this page when I was trying to work on descriptor terms at the next language level. Initially, we were using the pre-reader level. Later, I wanted to try to take his language to the next level, which meant going back to the curriculum and harvesting resources we hadn't used the first time through. The curriculum and concepts can be revisited over and over. This is our communication clipboard and some of our sensory toys. I wanted to try other communication options and was trying to make an independent way for him to do a body scan. I printed off the sheets Kelly shared with me and gave them to him on a clipboard, allowing him to circle choices. It's helpful to have everything all on one page when you want to do some problem solving quickly. In the moment, language drops and you just want to hold up that page and let them point. Notice also the toys in the background. He had these things as options before our interception work, but he didn't know what to do with them. He'd just smack the balls hard and leave them in knots and, or throw the animals. Now he can walk up to them and use them as a means to regulate. He realizes how they make him feel so he can make the choice to enjoy using them. This is what our notebook looks like. I set up my notebook with the printables and put the descriptor terms for each unit into sleeves. I needed them to be easy to pull out, touch, use during activities, and then put back. You'll see I used the pre-reader level, and at that time the learner was maybe 12 and quite verbal. He also read at a high level, like 5th to 6th grade, but he didn't comprehend at a high level. With his language issues, there's always the question of what he truly comprehends. When he was younger, he had a point in his reading intervention where he was considered dyslexic and hyperlexic, so I never make assumptions about comprehension, but I try to make sure every descriptor term means something to him and is directly connected to experience and differentiation. Cold, how cold, tepid, freezing, glacially cold, etc. You'll see I wrote his responses for the body experiment sheets. He's severely dysgraphic, so that's what works for us. He was able to say the words and he had the body check ring in front of him during those activities to serve as a word bank. Now you're starting to see what my instructor notebook looks like for phases two and three. I was trying to figure out why he didn't seem to do as much as the curriculum provides, but I think it's because we didn't have to. It was almost miraculous because as soon as he got these concepts and was really feeling his body and connecting to a communication method, he could piece together and self-advocate. This is our choice board for break activities, which is so interesting to me. This was our board before our interoception work, and we would have to force him and compel him to take breaks and tell him he must choose from the list. This is your list. We had in-home ABA, and even though we tried to be as humane as we could be, it was always us telling him what he felt, what he had to do, what his options were. Does he need that now? Nope. Now he can tell me what he thinks would make him feel better, and he goes and he does it. On a rougher day, he doesn't tell me, language drops, and he goes and does it. But think about how backward we are, that we tell people what their choices are without helping them to have the self-awareness to know for themselves what they would enjoy and what they want to choose. My learner does all his teletherapies and his free time on this computer here. You'll notice the comfortable chair, the calming blue walls and curtains, how the room is basically monochromatic. I use blue for everything I can and green as accents. The curtains are light blocking, so if he needs it dark to feel better, he can draw them. If he wants to turtle in the chair, he can use it with blankets to surround him. He has access to a single line swing, a heavy bag, a punching bag, etc. And of course the outdoors. However, even with self-awareness and all these resources, we still had to go down the mental health path and get him access to medications to get him to where he needed to be. I like to say he completely understands why he's on meds, but he doesn't. He somewhat understands, though will occasionally say things. One day he came to me and said he felt high and that his brain was going really fast and he felt out of control and didn't like it. 
It turned out he had gotten coffee and was having feelings from that. I love that he realized he didn't like how he felt and wanted a solution. I said, that's why we have this medication and it can stabilize what you're feeling. So we gave him the extra dose per the doctor's recommendations and he stabilized out. It's not a perfect journey and he's still learning. Interception with your self-awareness and self-advocacy is a journey. It's something you grow in. It's too easy to want quick flash in the pan results or think that whatever we're seeing after an eight week course is what the curriculum and what the process can do. It's not. He continues to grow into his self-awareness and self-advocacy. These are the interoception activity cards, which are super handy when you do the body experiment activities and realize you'd like to have more activities or go through a second or even third time to expand language. This was the way we used them, but they're not essential. However, they are great. So as his interoception started coming in, I wanted to start applying it. I got all kinds of resources, picture books, feelings cards, games, etc. And we would work through them, looking at the pictures, asking what the person might be feeling and how you know. We extend our interoception work into our academics. Interoception directly ties into narrative language and reading comprehension. Interoception growth directly improves social prediction, which leads them to be able to make better inferences when reading and connect with the characters better. I don't know if we have a great way to quantify the astonishing growth you can get socially when someone grows in the self-awareness that leads to others' awareness. It's easy to look at my learner now and how well he's done and think we would have gotten there anyway. However, he would not have. He is diagnosed with ASD support level 2, moderate to severe apraxia, SLDs in reading, writing, and math, and he has severe dysgraphia. He had serious, dangerous behaviors for many years that led him to have restrictive environments on his IEPs that, yes, we, even as homeschoolers, use in our state. He had received so many services with OT, SLP, ABA, behavior, etc. for years. I can firmly say that interoception, this self-awareness, this ability to know what he's feeling in his body, what that emotion word is, what makes him feel better, and what he can do about it is huge, pivotal, and life-altering. Interoception work has turned around his ability to engage with others socially, to have conversation by relating, to be gentle with pets, to make choices that keep him comfortable so he can be in challenging situations and environments. That is completely life-altering. This is our crumpled sensory bottle, and I wanted to share this because I don't want to make it sound like everything is perfect. It's a process and he's still growing. This is a sensory bottle he made years ago in an art therapy session and you'll notice how crumpled and pathetic it is. It has been thrown recently and things still happen. However, we're going in the right direction and it's working. He was able to work outside this summer alongside his father to help build a barn. It was hot and he would come in and take breaks as needed. He would notice his feet sweating. He was wearing rubber boots, I'm not sure why. And he would ask for help. He could tell when he needed to drink. He could notice the needs of others and bring them water, which made him a pleasant employee. We know from our training that employability depends largely on self-regulation and social skills. If he has those two pieces, he will be employable. Interoception directly improves those things. We need every OT, SLP, and psych on board with the importance of this. I need to be able to make referrals to all my homeschool friends saying this is where you access this amazing intervention that can change lives. And when parents can't get it for their kids, they need to feel confident that they can buy the materials, do the training, and do it well enough with the love and diligence they bring to it to make a radical difference in the lives of their children. Parents can do this. Now, I do have some important tips to share. Tip number one, do the training. I always recommend parents do Kelly's full training course, if at all possible. It will make you comfortable with implementing the curriculum and you'll understand why it works so you can customize it to your child. Tip number two, bring in your other kids. Everything is more fun as a group and everyone grows when they work on their interoception. This is something you can do multi-age, working with all your kids together. And finally, tip number three, go for it. You can't possibly mess this up. The curriculum is very easy to use, almost open and go, once you have the printables organized. I use the body check ring, which I laminated. Even if you don't do as good a job as you wish, you are still going to see amazing results and changes.